Services. As Robinhood gets ready to go public, and check out this headline splashed across the front page of the Wall Street Journal today. Robinhood's debut is clouded by SEC scrutiny for payment for order flow. The journal pointing out that payment for order flow accounted for 81% of Robinhood's first quarter revenues. And our next guest warns it's a serious issue that is putting retail investors at what he calls an extreme disadvantage. Dennis Kelleher is the CEO of Better Markets, a nonprofit that promotes the public interest in the financial markets. He has testified on Capitol Hill earlier this year in the wake of the GameStop frenzy. Um, Dennis, great to have you with us. What do you mean by extreme just, disadvantage? Why? Why? Because because the likes of a Citadel, a Virtu, they say best execution for the customer. <laughs> yeah, well, it's uh, best execution for their profits and worst execution for uh, the price that the retail traders are paying. The problem of payment for order flow is there's a conflict of interest between the Robin Hoods of the world and their retail clients and the owners of Robin Hood, which want to maximize their profits, which come for payment for order flow. So if you think about it this way, every order that a retail trader places with Robinhood or the others who accept payment for order flow, they take a cut and that cut comes is basically added to the price of the stock bought by the retail traders. But it's even worse than that because the HFT firms like Citadel that buy the order flow are taking their cut too. So Robinhood gets a cut, Citadel gets a cut, Where's that money coming from? It's coming from the pockets of the retail traders, and that's why payment for order flow needs to stop. So you're making a distinction between best price and best execution, because what the retail investor gets is free trading, commission-free well, you know, trading, right? They have to. Pay. They, I mean, Robinhood, no. E-Trade, all those guys—they're not charities. Well, no, no, they don't, they don't get free trading. This is the problem. They brag about commission-free trading, but retail traders hear free trading. There's nothing free on Wall Street, and you all know that better than anyone. There, what used to be an upfront, clearly visible fee that they paid in a commission for a trade is now hidden, disguised, and undisclosed. And that's the cut the Robin Hoods are taking, the Citadels are taking, and the retail trader has no idea what they're paying for that stock because it's buried in the trade of the stock. And that's one of the fundamental problems. And that's actually why Robin Hood uh, had to settle with the SEC for $65 million last December. And of course, they just settled again for $70 million with FINRA. So what they really deserve is best execution, which should be the best available price at the time, period. And what uh, the Citadels and the Robin Hoods of the world have done is they've claimed that the NBBO is the best price. But everyone on your show knows that the MBBO is an artificially widespread. There's an inside the spread that everybody else gets. Nobody pays the MBBO. So when Robin Hood and Citadel say, oh, we're doing great by the retail traders by giving them price improvement based on the MBBO, it's just an artificial misleading number that's disguising how much money is being taken out of the pockets of retail traders. Dennis, I'm no apologist for the firms you're talking about by any stretch, but I'll take you back 15 years when, you know, the, the brokers were buying stocks at a quarter, filling their customers at a half. I mean, yep. I, I would submit, maybe incorrectly, that the playing field has never been more level for the retail investor. And what you're talking about, although probably factually true, is infinitesimal when compared to what this was a decade and a half ago. But that's like saying, you know, cars 10 years ago cost twice as much, but now they're so much more efficient. And it's just that's not the right comparison. The comparison is today the law says retail traders should get best execution, period. And now what has happened is that these inside players who are making a fortune off of retail traders have defined best execution as the NBBO, knowing that that's not the best available trade at the time, best available price at the time, and pocketing the difference and not disclosing it, and indeed bragging about the fact that they're giving all sorts of money to retail traders. It's fundamentally misleading, if not outright fraud. And it's happening day every day, and it's costing retail traders billions and billions of dollars. So A, there should be full disclosure across the board so retail traders actually know what they're paying for the stock that they're buying. And if they can't do that, they should outright ban payment for the flow. But the easiest thing for the SEC to do, nothing's easy, I know, but the easiest thing is for them to define best execution as the best available price at the time. That will address the um, conflicts of interest and the dark side of the market. It will also address maker taker and rebates in the lit side of the market. And it should move liquidity back to the lit side of the market 
which should reduce spreads, which will be good for all traders. And by the way, it'll be good for capital formation. At the, at the heart of this, um, Dennis, is this notion that, that so much volume is happening off exchange, either via wholesalers or the dark pool, and that mm -hmm. there is an accuracy in price when so much of the volume is actually happening off exchange, and the prices that we see, you know, s scrolling across on the ticker are, are a different, you know, it's, it's, a, it's the lit market, so it's, it's right. you know, half the volume. Um, is, that, is that the root of the problem? I mean, is that part of this? Well, a big part of the problem was just unintended consequences from a law passed in over a decade ago called Reg NMS. But what we have now is about 47% of all the equity trades today are happening on the dark side of the market. And that means the lit side of the market has much wider spreads because it has much less liquidity. And what's even worse is that in order, the lit markets, the exchanges to compete with the dark pools, the internalizes, the high frequency traders, the lit markets engage in their own conflicts of interest and disguised payments that distort order flow all over the place. And they've got maker taker and they've got rebates and things like that. And so we have both sides, the dark side and the lit side, full of these conflicts of interest, full of basically, even if it's legal predatory behavior, all of which is to the disadvantage of the buy side and retail traders. So let's clean it all up. Let's have a standard that says best execution requires the best available price at the time period. I believe that that will reduce dramatically the amount of trading on the dark side. It will cause liquidity to flow into the lit markets, which will have a standard that can be policed by the SEC and the chairman of the SEC wants to police it. Mm -hmm. And they, that's going to cause the cost, of, it's gonna reduce the spreads cause the cost of capital to go down. It's gonna be good for everybody, except for the people taking their cut, their undisclosed, disguised cut out of the pockets of the retail traders. And that's what needs to be stopped. And if we do that, it's win-win for everybody, but that small group of incumbents who are getting rich off of retail traders. Dennis, um, we gotta go now, but uh, thanks so much for joining us. We thanks hope for having to me. see you soon. Dennis Kelleher of Better Markets. We did reach out to Robinhood for a statement. A spokesperson wrote to us, we will decline to comment due to limitations on communications related to the IPO SEC registration process.